agriculture has completed one cycle and is turning its phase. Green revolution proved detrimental in five decades. Indiscriminate use of pesticides and chemicals polluted the soil, water and the whole ecosystem. Off late, our farmers are looking back. Now we find organic movement everywhere. But most of the farmers are in confusion about both the systems. They question whether total organic is possible and feasible. Agriculture started along with human civilization, but it was totally dependent on nature. Use of chemical fertilizers started during 1850 itself in Western countries. But in India, chemical farming became popular with the Green Revolution, which started in 1965. High yielding hybrids entered our farms. Chemical fertilizers became inevitable to get higher yield from these hybrids. This paved the way for indiscriminate use of chemical fertilizers. The scientific community supported chemical farming, neglecting the possible bad effects of chemicals in the long run. Government departments promoted this on priority. It is true that this green revolution produced enough food for the nation. But in due course of time, pests and diseases started attacking the crops. Poisonous pesticides entered the scene for crop protection. The hazardous effects of these poisons were quite evident very soon. Soft topsoil started getting hardened due to chemical residues. Groundwater was polluted with nitrates, sulfides and other chemical impurities. The balance of nature was lost and pest attack ran out of control. Cabbage and cauliflower needed 8 to 10 sprays. Cotton needs 13 to 15 sprays and grape consumes 30 to 40 sprays in a season. Then imagine the effect of chemicals. Consumers using these produce and the farmers spraying these pesticides are affected with asthma, allergy, cancer and with many more health problems. We lost rich biodiversity and balanced nature before we got alerted. The volume of chemicals used has grown many times from 1965 to 2010 but the increase in production is only four times. Even this increase is not just due to chemicals. Increase in cultivated area and irrigation contributed a lot. Of course, only chemicals are not the sole culprits. Excess tillage, hybrids targeted only towards high yield, genetically modified crops and varieties, excess irrigation, unseasoned crop cultivation, unacclimatized crops and varieties, tendency of easy crop production, etc. are also the reasons for the pathetic situation of today's agriculture. Green revolution has become the war against nature. But now, we have lost the war. The only option left with us is to surrender to nature again. <laughs>